overview. Why are we studying this subject? To know. The standards in drawing and the conventional representation of the materials for machine drawing. The range of engineering drawings and implemented efficiently. The selection of views, additional views for the machine elements and parts with every drawing proportion. The method of dimensioning, general rules for sizes and placement of dimensions. How machine drawing is linked with other subjects. Technical drawing is essential for communicating ideas in the industry and engineering. In art and design that goes into making buildings, it's known as architecture. Uses detailed drawings to communicate all aspects of the shape or design. Engineering drawings are created in accordance with standardized conventions for layout, nomenclature, interpretation, appearance of machines. Concepts discussed in the subject. Machine drawing conventions. Conventional representation of materials, common machine elements and parts such as nuts, bolts, keys. Types of sections. Selection of section planes and drawing of sections and auxiliary sectional views. Drawing of machine elements. Selection of views. Additional views for the machine parts with every drawing proportion. Assembly drawings. Drawings of assembled views for the engine and other parts of the machine. Application of machine drawing. Working drawings are needed for production to give information for the manufacture or construction of a machine. In architecture, the arts and design use detailed drawings to communicate the shapes and designs of the building parts. Machine drawing plays a vital role in the manufacture of components of the machines for various industries. Introduction to Machine Drawing Learning Objectives At the end of this topic, you will be able to Know the overview of production drawing Analyze the need for drawing conventions Describe Indian Standard Conventions. Explain National Standards. Know the range of engineering drawings. Outcomes. By the end of this topic, you will be able to Achieve an understanding of the production drawing. Utilize the range of engineering drawings. Able to know the range of engineering drawings and use it to communicate and detail the characteristics of engineering drawing. Production Life Cycle. PLC management. Production life cycle. PLC management is the process of managing the entire life cycle of a product from inception through engineering design and manufacture to service and disposal of manufactured products. The goals of product life cycle PLC management are to reduce time to market, improve product quality, reduce prototyping costs, identify potential sales opportunities and revenue contributions, and reduce environmental impacts at end of life. To create successful new products, the company must understand its customers, markets, and competitors. Introduction to Production Drawing and Engineering Life Cycle Where does production drawing fit in? Production drawing is not the same as design but an integral fraction of the product life cycle. Life cycle of a product starts from concept followed by design. Manufacture at last comes the customer satisfaction. Let us see the life cycle of a product consisting of three phases. Design phase, manufacture phase and market phase. The life cycle of product starts from concept, a stage where the broad outline of the product's functions and uses, its appearance and aesthetics cost, etc., are spelt out. Innovation is the key element in this phase. In the next stage, that is design, details such as mechanical functions of sub-assemblies, strength and rigidity requirements are laid out. In this development stage, prototypes may be built to enhance knowledge base or validate design assumptions. During the evolution of the manufacturing plan, the product drawings will need to be firmed up. During manufacture, a large number of drawings require to be created to aid and satisfy the various manufacturing functions. Life cycle of the product ends with market phase in which customer satisfaction is taken into account. Need for drawing conventions Drawing is the document through which one engineer communicates technical requirements to another engineer or production department. Conventions are the building blocks used to simplify technical information. 
The conventions make these requirements uniquely and universally understood. In other words, the scope for misinterpretations is minimized or eliminated. Conventions and Standards These conventions were originally introduced by industrially advanced nations for use within their own country. Each trade had conventions of its own. It simplified the range of manufactured goods and manufacturing tools to fewer manageable numbers. But over the years, because it had large benefits, other nations were also adopting them. Today, some of these trade standards have evolved to be national standards and graduated as international standards. The global reach of many standards have overcome even language barriers. Indian Standard Conventions Bureau of Indian Standards, BIS, is the organization tasked to evolve such standards in India. Standards cover conventions, artifacts, processes and services. Engineering is one of the many fields covered by standards. Code of Practice for General Engineering Drawing, IS 696-1972, is one such standard covering engineering drawing conventions. Many of these standards are periodically modified or these are brought in alignment with corresponding international standards. These revisions hence reflect the latest technology trends. We will make ourselves familiar with some of these national standards. Some important national standards. In India, Bureau of Indian Standards, standards from BIS are designed as shown. In Britain, British standards are designed as BS, steel bars or stocks. Conforming to BS is a common practice in Indian steel industry even in the present day. Germany, the German standard DIN is the result of the pioneering attempts to standardize started in the year 1907. Although it was started with mechanical engineering parts or products, today it covers a very wide range of conventions, materials and processes. Many of the DIN standards have been adopted in toto as standards of International Standards Organization ISO. ISO, International Organization for Standardization, ISO is a UN chartered organization. USA. The US relies on standards formulated by several associations or trade associations which represent specialized products or processes. Some of the important and frequently used American standards are listed here. Japan. GIS. Range of engineering drawings. This section will take you through understanding various drawings used in engineering component drawing or part drawing, assembly drawing, sub-assembly drawing, installation assembly drawing, schematic assembly drawing, exploded assembly drawing, manufacturing drawings. Component drawing. Component drawing or part drawing is one of the elementary drawing prepared to manufacture or produce a part. It contains the essential details to create the part, 1. Dimensions, with tolerances of geometrical features, 2. Material used to form with heat treatment, if used, 3. Finishing, plating, painting, etc. required to protect the part, 4. Information to identify the part. Assembly drawing. Assembly drawing is the drawing showing how these individual parts are joined to form the assembly. Apart from the list of parts required to form the assembly, assembly drawing could be carrying many other vital information or instructions such as tolerance required, types of machine drawing, tightening torque, welding, crack of fracture testing, dynamic balancing, lubrication, testing for performance. Apart from the above two fundamental types of drawings, several drawings specific for ease of manufacture are in use. Some of these important ones are Sub-assembly drawing In most cases, when the assembly is made of many sub-assemblies and components joined together, assembly drawing may be too complex or cumbersome to be used frequently. A sub-assembly drawing is more handy and is used. Installation assembly drawing This is for the specific purpose of helping installation. So this may carry only the outline of the parts or sub-assemblies and the sequence of assembling these. Schematic assembly drawing. 
A schematic representation of the various sub-assemblies facilitates easy understanding of complex layout of the machinery. Exploded assembly drawing. This is usually a perspective representation of sub-assemblies and parts which make up the assembly. Exploded assembly drawing is usually the most popular form of representing the assembly sequence for instruction manuals and catalogs, especially those designed for use during training or by the general public. Manufacturing drawings Several interstage drawings may be used to ease manufacturers. A wide range of form of raw material and manufacturing processes are used. For example, Automotive engine block is machined from an intricate casting. A separate drawing for this casting and another for machining is essential. The casting drawing is prepared after considering the machining allowances. Limitations of casting process such as taper, minimum thickness, fillets, ease of flow, etc. Raw material for some vital parts could be forging. It is important to have a forging drawing giving its dimensions, tolerances, material, location of die parting, tapered, permitted, etc. Much like the casting drawing, preparation of the forging drawing requires consideration of subsequent machining allowances, locations for holding during machining, minimum taper required, possible mismatch between die halves, to grain flow pattern during forging and effect on strength of part, etc. Even for the so-called standard items, generally sourced from the market, a part drawing usually helps. For example, say, a spherical knob, moulded from a thermosetting plastic, is used on gear shift lever. How can the engineer communicate his requirement to a non-engineer purchase assistant? A drawing with details of ball diameter, thread size, material and colour, etc. makes procurement of the item an inspection easy and free of goof. There's greater transparency in understanding requirements and this helps meeting time schedules. Some of these interstage drawings commonly used are listed in the table. Castings. Pressure die casting. Sand casting. Drawing of casting made from the finished part drawing after adding allowances for machining and allowances for casting process. Example, draft, taper, fillet, radii, etc. Forging. Steel or aluminum forgings. Drawing a forging made from finished part drawing after adding allowances for machining and allowances for forging process. Example. Draft. Taper. Fillet radii, etc. Summary. Let's summarize the topic. The life cycle of a product consists of three phases. Design phase, manufacture phase and market phase. Drawing is the document through which one engineer communicates technical requirements. Component drawing or part drawing is one of the elementary drawing prepared to manufacture or produce a part.